Uh, hello dear students, I am one of your English teachers of class 10, Kumar Bosnet. So today I am here uh, to teach you, uh, especially grammar. And among the grammar topics, today I have chosen question tag. Although you have read about question tag even in class 9 also, but today a little bit uh, something more I am going to give you. You might have forgotten also. Anyway, so today we shall go with question tag. So I have written an example here. Let's start with this first. So I shall show you the example first here. Like I have written, like she lives with her family, doesn't she? She doesn't live with her family, does she? Now, what is the difference we find between these two sentences? So what we find here is, if the sentence is affirmative, the question tag should be negative. This is the basic rule. Likewise, if the sentence is negative, the question tag should be affirmative. And another thing is. The sentence and the question tag, it has to be separated with the comma and you have to insert question mark at last and one thing you should know that in class 10, in reproduction type of grammar, this question tag is at the one mark and even in the contextual uh, passage also, it is at the point five, some kind of one mark also. So this we need to understand. So the sentence and the question tag, it should be separated with the comma and it's, it should end with the question mark. Now, I have also given one definition here. Now let's talk about that. So after seeing this, we can just see the definition here. So what is a question tag? So a question tag is a short question. Tag means added at the end of a sentence asking for confirmation. Which means like she lives with her family. Doesn't she? So this is what this is the question tag that is used at the end of the sentence. It shows that we are just asking the confirmation. We are trying to make sure whether she lives or not. So that's why. A question tag is a short question that is added at the end of a sentence. Now, another example I have written here, like they are playing outside around day. Now here, the most important thing is you have to find the verb and the subject of a sentence here. Like here, I have written they are playing outside. So here, the verb is are. So what I have done here is the same are it has been used here in the question tag. Since the sentence is affirmative, so I have made it negative here. And the subject here is they, so the subject of the question tag is also they. Likewise, I have written here, we have called some of our friends. So the question tag is haven't we. So why have, I have written haven't we here? Because this have called, this means have plus of three is here. So this is an auxiliary verb. The same auxiliary verb is used. So what we need to understand through this is, if they are presence in auxiliary verb in a sentence, the same auxiliary verb is used in the question tag. So this is one of the rules. Now <clears throat> moving to the next. Now the another thing is, I should show you one example here. Like, she swims well. Now what is the question tag here? Since we have got verb five here, so we write here doesn't she. Now why we agree with does here because the subject, sorry, the verb is of five. So the rule says, sorry, if the verb is in the verb five form, we go with does. If the verb is verb two, we go with did. And if the verb is verb one, we use do. And make sure that if the sentence is negative, question tag should be affirmative. So this is the basic rule which we have already known. Now another important thing is, if they are presence, the main verb, like for example, if this has, have, or had, if these three verbs are used in a sentence without being followed by verb three, then we call that to be the main verb. Like for example, I should show you, like she had a terrible headache. Since this had has not been followed by another verb here, it hasn't been followed by verb 3, so this is called the main verb. So if this is the main verb, then it agrees in this way. I should show you here. Like if there is had, it agrees with did. If there is had, it agrees with does. Likewise, have, then do. So now what is the question tag we use here? We write here, didn't see. The same sort of rule we follow for have to, has to, and had to. Like if there is has to, we go with does. Likewise, if there is have to, we have 
to go into and if there is had to you have to go with this i will show you one example Like she has to do it on time. So has to followed by verb one. We need dot dot she in this way. We know. So it is also the basic you know, basic rule that we have already learned. Now another important thing is so many of the things that you have already read in class nine also. So I don't think that I have to explain you much. Some of the rules I am going to explain you. Now another thing is, uh, if there comes the words like barely, hardly, rarely, never, etc., then the sentence becomes negative. Means the presence of these words in a sentence makes it negative. So we have to use often very tag. Like for example, see. Early comes to school. So the presence of this word here makes the sentence negative. So we have to use the upper middle position tag. Like see, early comes to school. Don't see. If you see what we insert here. Likewise, if there is apostrophe d followed by better and apostrophe d followed by rather. Then we follow in this way. Like if there is opportunity followed by better, this is called had better. Had plus better. Likewise, opportunity followed by rather, this is would rather. So, in question tag now, how we are going to do? I am going to show you one example. Like for example, with better, we stay with us. So the same is had we use in the question tag. So you would better stay with us. Hadn't you in this way? The same sort of rule we apply for even rather also. So now another important thing is you have to be a little bit careful about the subject of the question tag. Like for example, I can show you if there begins a sentence with there subject there like there are some. Boys playing football. Now, what is the question tag we use here? Like there, the sentence begins with there, so the same there we use in the question tag. Like there are some boys playing football. Aren't there? We write so this is what we use. Likewise, if the subject is one, like one should. Love. One should love. K U N I O R T T S. The question tag is shouldn't one. So I want to make you clear that if the sentence begins with one here, then the subject of the question tag is also one only. Likewise, somebody, everybody, nobody, someone, everyone. If we find the sentence begin with like somebody, likewise everybody, everyone, someone, then the subject of the question tag is always they. Like somebody is coming. The subject of the question tag is they. So here you may get a little bit confused because here the verb is is. So you cannot use the same is here with they, so you have to write here aren't they. So in this way, we added a verb here. Likewise, nobody leaves the class. So since nobody makes the sentence negative, this is verb five. So nobody, the subject of the question tag is they. But although it is verb five here, but you have to agree with two verbs. So the uh, question tag is do they. So this is the way we insert the question tag. So so these are some of the basic rules I just explained you today. 
So rest of the other things I shall explain you in the next class. So I hope you enjoyed the video. So thank you very much. Stay safe.